Hey guys, it's Janie. Welcome back to the Crafting Bookworm. Today we're on Craftoween Day 10. Okay, welcome back everyone. Welcome to my new subscribers. Thanks to all of you for being here with me. I appreciate that. Um, so we're on day 10 and I did something a little, little differently today. Um, for our prompt roll one, we are going with graveyard. Okay. And then for prompt two, I chose two different ones. We're going to go with glittery paper and we're going to go to spooky book review. I thought that would be fun to incorporate that into craft a -ween. So we're going to talk about our spooky book review, okay? And so that book is The Unseen by Richie Tankersley Cusick. I read this book back in 2020. It was, the copyright is 2003. So I find it 20 years later. And um, this really was spooky for me. Um, we're, we're following Lucy in this book and her mother had passed away and now she's living with her aunt and um, she's not happy there. She's just not having a, a good stay um, and she just wishes things could go back to, to what they were before. <clears throat> so I'm going to read just a few paragraphs in this so you guys can get the feeling of the feeling that I had while I was reading it. it said she should never have come here not into this deep dark place not in this miserable weather and especially not at night a graveyard Lucy murmured what was I thinking but that was just it she hadn't been thinking she hadn't had time to think she'd only felt that sudden surge of fear through her veins and then she started running someone was following her not at first, not when she'd first left the house, started walking, but blocks afterward, six or seven maybe, when the storm had suddenly broken, and she'd cut through the alley behind a church and tried to find a shortcut home. No, not home, the words exploded inside her head, angry and defensive. Aunt Irene's house isn't home. It won't ever be home. I don't have a home anymore. The rain was cold, even with her jacket. Lucy felt chilled. She hunched her shoulders against the downpour, pulled her hood close around her face. She hadn't even realized where she was going. There was no sign posted, no gate to mark the boundaries of the cemetery, just an unexpected gap through the trees. She heard the footsteps and she panicked. She bolted instinctively into the first cover of darkness she could find. But this was a terrible darkness, almost as dark as her own pain. She crouched down between two headstones, straining her ears through the night. It had taken several minutes to become aware of those footsteps back there on the sidewalk. At first she thought she was imagining them. She thought it was only the rain plopping down, big soft drops, faint at first, but then louder and faster, sharper and clearer, until suddenly they seemed to be echoing, until suddenly they seemed to have some awful, pur awful purpose, and she realized they were coming closer. She stopped beneath a street lamp, and the footsteps had stopped too. She forced herself to look back back along the pavement across the shadowy lawns and thick tangled hedges. But there hadn't been anyone behind her, no one she could see anyway, but someone was there, someone, she was sure of it, and that's when she'd run. Okay, so, she runs, she's in a graveyard, or a cemetery, and she's scared. And, you know, while she was sitting there, she was wondering if that person actually followed her into the cemetery, or if they'd be waiting out there on the sidewalk for her. She didn't know what to do. So she started running again. And before she knows it, she falls and lands inside a grave, an open grave. And she wasn't alone in the grave. And she doesn't know if she's imagining things, but she sees a face. And this person that she finds in this grave starts talking to her and telling her not to tell anyone what she saw because she would be in danger 
if she would tell anyone if she wants to be safe she's not to tell anyone anything and Lucy thought at first that this was a person that just landed in there and she was trying to help and she said she was going to get help and then that's when the voice told her not to tell anybody and the whole story is crazy like this she's she always has that feeling of being threatened and someone following her um, and it just goes on like that and the apprehension that I felt when I read this story was just you know amazing um, if you can think about apprehension as amazing but when you're reading a scary book you want it to be a scary book and the author certainly does that and the whole book is just very fluid and I'm thinking this is, you know, around the lines of YA. Um, there is an unseen too as well, because with this one, as you see, it's It Begins and Rest in Peace. Those are two separate books in here. And then Unseen the Unseen Two has the same thing. And I've I've read all of them. And it was a very spooky, creepy read for me. And it makes me want to, you know, do a reread on it because I read it back in 2020 and there's probably points in there that I have forgotten to this story. But very fluid, the plot, everything is fantastic in that in that book. So if you want something really creepy, creepy for this Halloween, um, go check out The Unseen by Richie Tangersley Cusick because... They're all fabulous. The stories are fabulous. I really enjoyed them. So, this is why I chose um, the prompt, The Graveyard. Um, because it seems, you know, that's where the plot started. And everything goes back to that in these books. And it was fabulous. So, that's why I chose The Graveyard. So, we're going to actually work on a page today. And we're working with some glittery paper and then graveyard scenes. So what we're going to do first, let me show you what we're going to do first. I've got this, this purple glittery paper and we've already got it notched and it's going to go right on here. I wanted to put something else in this, in this last signature. So this is going to glue down to the page. Let's see if the glue is going to cooperate. It would be wonderful if it did. Oh, and looky there. So we're going to glue this down. I hope everyone's having a good day, good week, good weekend, whatever we're at right now, since this is day 10, because I am still pre-recording videos. So it's hard for me to say either way. So I just hope everybody is having whichever one of those fits. Okay, so there's our pocket. Now on our pocket, we are going to... Oh, here we go. I already made it. And yes, we used our gingham again because I love that look. And that's going to go down here and I'm hoping it's going to stick to this. So we're going to use our Fabri-Tac just in case. I want it to stick. You know what? We need to ink this first. Let's get our black soot. And let's ink these edges. And this one says, prepare for a night of spooky fun. Now, she had a night of spooky, but it wasn't fun. <laughs> At all. I would hate if that happened to me. I don't think I would come back from something like that okay so this is gonna go on our pocket right here and hopefully that's gonna take because it's moving around pretty easy so we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna oh see it's still moving we're gonna set it aside and hope that 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 takes hold on there okay all right, so now we're to this part, and I got a couple of more of these Halloween kids. <clears throat> these are vintage photos. Um, obviously, they're digitals for me, 
but these come from EDL printables. That's the same person that has all the gingham prints that I like so well. So these are going to be going in here. Now we've got some more of our sparkly paper and we're going to put a pocket here. And then we're going to have a side tuck here and then we're going to put our, our photos in these pockets, okay? So I am going to do a small thumb hole on this. Okay, and we are going to ink it, get these white edges off. You don't have to ink everything. I just have got grown accustomed to doing it. So now everything I do gets inked. Because <laughs> when I first started out uh, making the journals, I did not ink anything. That didn't come along till later for me. But now that I ink everything, I love it. I love the, the definition it can give and just gives things more interest, I think. Okay, so we're going to glue this one down here. Make sure we don't go over our, our fold there. Okay, and there's that. And then this one we're just going to, and I've got um, a leaky bottle here. Let's get that off. I might have to open this lid so it doesn't suck it back up in there. Okay, sorry about that guys. Okay, so we're gonna just glue here and here we're not gonna bother with a thumb notch on this one because it's not all that wide. And then this is gonna go on here. Now be aware that this is glitter paper so there is going to be glitter <laughs> It's already on my fingers. It's probably going to be on my face. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Okay, and I think I want to do a stencil of some kind. Um, let's see, do I want to put some of this on here? I think I want to do just a light layer of um, this black on here just to give it a little more interest. So we're just going to lightly, hopefully, there's so many, so many spaces in it that you got to make sure you get those parts. So we just want a little bit on there. Oh, we got a little dark there, but that's okay. That is okay. And then we're going to just go along this too. Just try and get a... A light layer of this. Just like that. Okay, and I'm going to also do 31 again on here, and we're going to do a smaller, we're going to do a smaller 31. We're going to try and get just what we need and not everything else. There's three, and then we've got... Is that going to be, it's kind of a small one. Oh, there we go. I think this one will work. And let's do the one. Okay, so now we got 31 on there. I'm using stencils, I didn't have to use stencils, huh? Okay, and so now we've got, let's see, this one will fit in there. I think I'm going to round these corners too. Where's my, there it is. Okay, 
there's, there's my corner rounder. And we're just going to round these corners. Oh, we got a little white on the bottom. Oh, we'll ink that. And these can be used to write on, or you can just keep them in there or put them somewhere else or whatever you want to do with it. We'll get a little bit on the back side too. So um, this is going to be the last one you're going to see because we'll be at Broken Bow over the weekend, but then I will come back and do the rest of what I can do before um, the 20th when the drawing is going gonna, is gonna to happen. Okay, so we're going to sit that in there. And let's make sure this is going to fit within the fold. And it does. That's cool. So there's that. And I also wanted to get some trim on here as well. So let me go get some trim and I'll be right back. So I got this trim right here. This is fast becoming my favorite. And so I was thinking to trim up the side here. Just putting a piece of trim up the side like this. And we gotta make sure it's gonna fit in our pocket though. So this is gonna be a tight fit pocket. And yeah, I don't think the trim is going to work. I think it's gonna like pull it up on here. So, what if we put trim like right here because we don't want to put it over the thumb hole. I probably shouldn't have put the thumb hole. But you know what? I like that on there. Even over the thumb hole. So I think we're going to do it. We're going to cut this. Let me remeasure where we're cutting. Okay, right there. It'll be okay. Everything will be alright. Okay. So we're just going to glue that across the top. I hate when these ideas come to me later. I wanted to put the trim on the card. And then I didn't think about how the car was going to be thicker because it's a double journal card. So we're just going to kind of spread a little bit underneath that so it will stick down. And then we're going to put it on. Make sure it stays at the top of that pocket. Just like that. Just wipe off my finger. Okay, just like that. And that is our day 10. And you know, you guys don't have to leave this in here. Whoever gets it, it doesn't have to stay in this pocket. It can go anywhere in the journal. I'm going to glue this, this side right here down though, because it's and this side too. We don't want it like pulling off of there because it's not got enough glue on it. But yeah, there we go. So if you want to keep it in there, you can. There's sparkles everywhere. 
If you want to keep it in this pocket, you can keep it in that pocket. You can do whatever you want with it. And then, you know, on the inside, you can take these guys out and use them anywhere. You can do whatever you want. I feel like this needs to be more de decorated, but I don't know that I have another black trim that's thinner than that. We don't want this to get, you know, too bulky because it will get very bulky but that's the idea you guys if you get this journal and you want to add something to it you can go right ahead and do that when you get the journal um the whole idea is part decorated and part not so if you want to do something different with this then you will have all the choices to make yourself or whatever you want to do and um you can have at it. Okay, get my pen in there. And it's being difficult. So yeah, that is day 10, you guys. And as I was saying, I won't have anything from the 11th through... Let's see, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. 14th, maybe I'll have something else. We'll see. It's going to be just after that. And then it's only going to be a few days that we'll have more. And then we'll have our drawing on the 20th. So, but yeah, that is, you know what? I'm going to leave that open because <laughs> there may be some glue seeping through there. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks so much for following along and for staying tuned. And don't forget to go back to Craftoween 1, day 1, and enter the drawing. Okay, so you still have time to enter the drawing, so go in there. It is at the end of the video, so if you can't stay to watch the whole video, you can scroll through and find the details of the drawing. Okay, so that's all I got, guys. Thanks for staying with me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.